My name is Ian Mark from 70s Rock Photos. I'm also the author of Adventures of a 70s Rock Photographer. Today, let's travel back to September the 11th, 1977, when I photographed Rush performing at the Calgary Stampede Corral. This is the second time I photographed Rush, the first time being in 1975 when I shot them opening for Nazareth in an open field in an outdoor concert just outside of Calgary, in front of maybe 1,500 people. I made a video about that concert. There will be a link to it at the end of this video. Speaking of videos, please hit the subscribe button below and like this video. When I photographed Rush in 1975, I was just new at photography. However, in 1977, I was the photographer for Music Express magazine. That came with a few perks like a backstage pass and better seating. I don't know why. But none of these photographs were published in Music Express magazine. So many of what you are about to see are rare, vintage, unseen shots. Before we take a look at the concert images, let's take a look at the venue for this concert. The Calgary Stampede Corral, or the Corral as it is known in Calgary. So here we are at the Calgary Stampede Corral. As you can see, it is basically a glorified cement barn built in 1955, seating just over 6,500 people. It is essentially a hockey arena that doubled as a performance venue until Calgary hosted the 1988 Olympics and a larger facility was built. It was my favorite place to shoot bands. Smaller crowds mean that there is less paranoia about security and closer access to the stage. I personally have photographed in the corral Rod Stewart, Kiss, Styx, Jeff Tall, Air Supply, Bay City Rollers, BTO, and Cheap Trick. This photograph shows the stage set up for Blue Oyster Cult in T Rex going back to 1974. Just after I took these drone shots, the corral was demolished to make way for more convention space. Rest in peace, corral. I will miss you. Now it's time to take in the concert shots. For those who viewed my video of shooting Rush opening for Nazareth, they will know that for that concert in 1975, the band were showing their flair for fashion by sporting brightly colored Japanese kimonos. But as you can see in these photographs from 1977, they seem to have cast aside their GQ fashion sense in favor of more contemporary attire. Also, for this performance in 1977, the Farewell to Kings Tour, the band had expanded from a basic drum kit, lead and bass guitar, to a whole myriad of instruments. Geddy Lee added a bass pedal synthesizer, mini moog, and a double neck bass with Alex adding a classical guitar and a 12 and 6 string double neck guitar. I remember watching in awe Geddy Lee playing the mini moog and bass synth while still holding his bass around his neck. Not to be left behind, Neil expanded his percussion tools to include triangles, glockenspiel, wood blocks, cowbells, timpani, gong, and chimes. He was on the way to becoming one of the greatest percussionists in rock history. As a photographer, I never tired of taking shots of Alex. His face is a reflection of the notes he is playing on the guitar. With every note or chord comes a new facial contortion. His expressions are limitless. My sense after photographing Rush in 1977 was that the band had evolved into a league of their own. They wanted to play more than just predictable riffs that other bands were, were doing at the time. Technically, they had outclassed most of the competition. When I first saw Rush in 1975, I thought that Geddy Lee's voice might stop them from having long-term success. How wrong I could have been. I hope you enjoyed this video looking back at the earlier days of Rush. I find it somewhat melancholy to see these photographs now, knowing that Neil Peart is gone. Many of my photographs can be viewed and purchased from 70srockphotos.com or my 70s Rock Photos Etsy or Amazon stores. Sadly, in this case, 
Rush is at war with other photographers, so they will not let me sell my photographs of Rush from 75 or 77. However, there are 18 color and black and white photographs from both of these concerts in my book, Adventures of a 70s Rock Photographer. As I said at the beginning of this video, coming up is a link to the video I made of shooting Rush in 1975. This video includes high quality color images of Rush that their management tried to get me to sell to them a few years ago, but I refused. Before we go, here are a few color shots of Rush from 1975. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching this video and subscribe to my channel, 70s Rock Photos. Have a great day.